One of the more intriguing roster moves the Minnesota Fighting Vikings made on Monday in their gaggle of transactions was placing rookie fourth-round pick edge rusher Janaris Robinson on injured reserve. Now, Janaris played in both of the preseason games, including 19 snaps against the Colts. He didn't leave with any noticeable injury, and Patterson may have shed some inadvertent light on the Robinson situation on Tuesday. He said this, per Andrew Kramer, go. Uh, Vikings coach defense coordinator Andre Patterson, very complimentary of Kenny Willekes, blah, 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 blah. Blah, suggested rookie defensive engineer Robinson, IR, can learn from how Willikis bounced back from his season ending injury last year. And since Robinson is going on injured reserve before 53 man cutdowns, it is a season ending trip to IR. He is not eligible to come back after three weeks like he would be during the regular season. Uh, it cuts down on teams stashing players in this manner. Something that teams do. Now, I'm not saying that the Vikings are doing this, but some teams somewhere will take a very minor injury on a player and stash them on injured reserve so that they can save a roster spot and give that player basically a wretched season to grow and develop and then they can't lose them uh, because veterans and draft picks don't have to pass through waivers to get onto IR like rookie UDFAs do right and since Janarius is a long-term project for sure and probably wouldn't have contributed much as a rookie you know why not give him a full year in the building to work on technique, work with the coaching staff, get his full salary, and the Vikings save a roster spot. Not saying, not saying, just maybe saying, right? But Janarius certainly does have a bright future. 23 years young, six foot five, 263, was a three-year starter for the Florida State Seminoles. No, 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 no. Wait, no, that's USC. Anyways, uh, under three different defensive coordinators, only had a career 20 and a half tackles for loss, eight sacks, 9.1% pressure rate. But his pro day is where he made his money, man. Long arms, fast, 4.7240, explosive, 25 reps on the bench as well, 9.39 out of 10 on the relative athletic score. Love his frame, can set the edge as well, great bend, the physical free and limited college production, the Daniil Hunter comps were very easy to make. And Patterson was very effusive in his praise on Janaris earlier in the offseason, saying that he was a player that he wanted to get. But Robinson would have had a tough go of it. Vikings edge rushers are very deep right now. Daniil Hunter is going to bounce back to all pro form. Everson Griffin is going to be back, has some gas left in the tank. Steve Weatherly, the solid veteran. DJ Wanham ascending year two. Patrick Jones, second. When he's running the right play, can get after it. Uh, as well as Kenny Wilkes is rising up, and Jalen Holmes just remains. So potentially this year on I could be a blessing in disguise for Janaris Robinson getting right whatever is ailing him again this uh, it can be an undisclosed injury because we're in preseason there's no injury reports and, and you don't have to report the injury that uh, places a player on injured reserve but now yeah, potentially looking at 2022 Janaris uh, you're under his belt with Andre Patterson company Woo. we'll take it man We'll take it. But uh, your thoughts, Vikings placing Janaris Robinson on injured reserve. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Most put that work post on the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.